Hello people, today I'm going to be videoing Car Trite There's a, uh, a few memories of this place here, or this bridge, mainly under the bridge. There's this bridge used to flood, because as you can see on the other side, it comes down to a hill, another downhill there and also there. And uh, as you can see, it's been flooded before. And um, when, when you come in here, when it floods, you could, um, kids used to ride their push bike through the watery. And also, um, when it flooded, it would be like about past your ankles. Wonder what that noise is. It's coming from that thing. Whatever that is, it's coming from that, that noise. <clears throat> Anyway, we're going up a little bit further. What's the name of this park here? Logan Park. I don't know where they got that name from. <clears throat> uh, this is a long one amount of drive. Cartwright Primary School is just ahead. That's the school I went to back in 19... 75 and about that year maybe before that I think it was 75 for Hoxham Park High School I remember the uh, the librarian teacher there. His name was Mr. Brewster. He was a good bloke. I don't know why I was in the library quite a lot back then. Over there, we've got the old Cartwright um, Cartwright shops, or which used to be Cartwright shops. We're going to take a walk over there in a minute. We're just going to go through this bridge up, um, down here. Underneath the, the bridge there. Oh, sorry about the shaking, sir. Eh? 
Look at the graffiti they've done here, it looks, looks pretty good. <clears throat> now I think this produced a flood in here also. Look at that, they've done like um, an Australian um, background. Kangaroos in the bush. A couple of birds flying around. Big trees. Some rocks. More birds, flowers and more kangaroos. Looks pretty good actually. And the other side, trees, rocks and plants. Bit of water there. More birds, more trees, more kangaroos. A waratah, that's a native plant, that, that red thing, that's called a waratah. <clears throat> oh, that thing there, that big tree there, oh, I'm pretty sure that's called a black boy. Well, it looks sim similar to a black boy anyway. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, so, did someone sign it down there? Graffitiartist.com.au Oh no, it's pro... pro... graffitiartist.com.au So, if you want to look that up. And what does that say there? We live... Uh, gangster life, paradise. All that bullshit. <clears throat> and there's the uh, Cartwright Primary School. I'm not going to go in there. Even though the fences looks like it's been broken into. Because it's all uh, bolted up, but. Someone's probably broken into it by the looks of it. As you can see, the gate's open. <clears throat> and right there, it used to be cut right takeaway. I used to be a regular customer at this shop here, and the people knew me by my name. And when I go in there, they'd say, Hi Greg, what would you like today? I was up here nearly every fortnight or nearly every week, something like that. They had nice food. <coughs> and uh, I think they might have given me a discount, I'm not sure. Hello. Hello. Um, that was the butchers. Oh, it is the butchers, I think. Uh, it's some mixed business. <clears throat> um, and that place there, what's it called? One Stop Fresh. <clears throat> um, that was like some sort of grocery store, I think. Um, I think it's owned by some young Muslim girls, what it used to be. They might have moved to something, I don't know. Oh yeah, the person who used to um, run that, or own that um, takeaway place on the corner there, <clears throat> I think they were husband and wife, and I saw that guy. Um, he probably um, moved now uh, he used to live in one of the houses um, just down from uh, McDonald's because I saw him at the front of his house and I thought that's the guy who worked in the shop don't know what happened to the woman but <clears throat> And this is the back of the shop. And um, 
few years ago I used to uh, work at a place um, called Inspire Community. Uh, I wasn't getting paid, I volunteered uh, because what they did, they um, helped out the homeless and people that couldn't afford a lot of food. And um, they got quite a lot of food, about six to eight bags, including, including frozen, um, some vegetables, um, milk, coffee if we had it, sugar if we had it, um, did I say milk? I think I did. <clears throat> anyway, um, the office was just here. I think it was in that door just there. I had a little office, Inspire Community, in that door just there. But I don't know what, that's the back of the butchers or some something like that. <clears throat> uh, so that was over 10 years ago. Uh, got a space age thing on the on the wall. And I'm just going to go around behind the school, and that will be the end of the video. This is one of the laneways that go around the school and around the corner is the bridge. Just gonna go under that bridge and then start heading back home. That big building in the middle, that was, I'm pretty sure, was a library. Oh, hang on, I think it might have been, I think it might have been, I can't remember now. Because it was in the middle. I didn't have much uh, to do with this bridge back in my younger days but I did own horses and I used to ride around this area on my horses with a couple of other friends I actually had five horses uh, pretty sure this bridge this tunnel used to flood as well now they've got these bars here to um, stop people from going anywhere with motorbikes and cars if they get down there.
and all around there I used to ride my horses around there around the back it's all like bush Now I'm going to start heading back. Ah, it's a cockatoo attack. Sulfur crested cockatoos. Cartwright Public School. I used to ha um. I remember that um, that badge. And it used to have a uh, strive to achieve. And it still does. Look at that. Strive to achieve. It still does have that logo on it. Oh well, it's time to say goodbye and hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more. I'm going to be heading back to my place. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Car Tribe 2168.